Bye guys. Um, fucking hell review. Okay, on to my um, second of the cheapo beers that I bought from Beers of Europe. Um, and uh, this one is a, a Weiss beer from Kessel Ring Brewery and it's their Schlemmer Weiss beer. It's Heffer Weiss beer it says here and it's a uh, 5.3%. So that's what it looks like. I was just to let you know, these beers that I bought from Beers of Europe, um, none of them were above two quid, but none of them were on special offer either. This is their trade price, so, you know, I haven't got anything that's out of date or anything like that, so. Anyway, let's give this one a crack. I've had a couple of um, Vice beers recently, thanks to Jens, who sent me some down. So, I'm sort of starting to get back into the German style of beers, so let's see what this one's like. I'm not expecting it to be awesome or amazing, but you know, we shall see. Okay, so let's stop it there. It looks like your yeah, typical sort of vice beer, nice bright white head, murky sort of gold colour. Looks very, very nice. Okay, so let's give it a nose. Yeah, it's got that typical vice beer smell as well. Wheat beer, that um, bloody noise. It was quiet as anything for the, for the last couple of hours. As soon as I turn the camera on, a big old motorbike goes past. Um, right, so yeah, you're getting those typical sort of wheat beer smells. It's quite dry, it's not as sweet as like some wheat beers, like say the Ho Garden or something like that. You tend to get a bit of sweetness on the nose, like a bit of floral or, flo or fruit. This one tends to be a lot of white bread, like crusty white bread, um, coriander. Um, bit of banana, like a dry banana skin, not really like the pulpy fleshy stuff. It smells like your sort of typical wheat beer really, it smells just a bit drier than usual. But let's give it a go. Cheers guys. Uh, I think this one cost me one pound. £1.89 or something like that, which is pretty cheap for a big 500ml bottle, so cheers. It's your, it's your decent wheat beer, that's what it is. You've got high carbonation, which zings on your tongue. Straight away, when you hit with that sort of warm oatmeal sort of wheat a bit sort of taste on the tongue tiny bit of sweetness around the edges like a bit of lemon or something like that but you're getting that coriander you're getting that sort of crusty fresh white bread uh taste as well very very refreshing slightly drier than um some of the other wheat bits I had, like the commercial stuff like Ho Garden, which I mentioned before. I tend to find that one a little bit sweeter. But this one's slightly drier. Um, but it's still really, really refreshing. It's got a nice aftertaste. You get that banana on the aftertaste, which sort of lingers around a little bit. And um, and it's, it's just a decent wheat beer. It's not my favourite style of beer because, you know, I just don't think they can do that much with it. But... Unless you're starting, you know, sort of up in the ABVs and stuff like that, but but as it is, it's a nice wheat beer. Um, pardon me. For the price, it's actually cheaper than Hogarden because Hogarden's about the same price and it comes in a smaller bottle, so you're getting more for your money with this one. And um, yeah, so if you like wheat beers, get on Beers of Europe and get yourself a couple of bottles of this because it's not too bad. Rating wise, I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. That's a decent wheat beer. So, there you have it. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for an Urban Viking AO review. Cheers!